Hello guys, welcome to your unique devotion. This morning's devotion is uh, John chapter 5, we're still in chapter 5, uh, verses 31 through 47. This one is entitled, The Fourfold Witness. So I'm just going to hop in if you're ready. Alright. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another who bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. You have sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Yet I do not receive testimony from man, but I say these things that you may be, that you may be saved. He was the burning and shining lamp, and you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater witness than John's. For the works which the Father has given me to finish, the very works that I do bear witness to me that the Father has sent me. And the Father himself who sent me has testified of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form, but you do not have his words abiding in you, because whom he sent, him you do not believe. You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and these are they which testify of me. But you are not willing to come to me, that you may have life. I do not receive honor from men, but I know you, that you do not have the love of God in you. I have come in my Father's name, and do not receive, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe who receive honor from one another, and do not seek the honor that comes from the only God? Do not think that I shall accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, in whom you trust. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? So, It's just some very interesting imagery, and he's really picking on the Pharisees here pretty hard. Um, but put it, put yourself in in the shoes of the Pharisees. Not that you are a Pharisee blasphemer, <laughs> but think of it more as Jesus just talking to you. Um, trying to provoke you into question, trying to provoke you into actually listening to what he's saying, actually, in this, in our case, reading the words and not just throwing them away, but putting some deep thought into them. Um, so here in today's question, I think Cocoa Beans is going to ask you, <laughs> Do you believe God's words, the calling on your heart? Um, when you read the Bible, when you read things about Jesus, if you don't believe them, why are you reading them? Look for the belief, you know, try it, test his words, because when you test them, you're asking questions. You're asking whether it's true or whether it's not true, and he's going to show you how true it is. So put it put it to the test. Um, doubting Thomas was no less of a person for wanting to touch Jesus after his death and prove that he existed. And Jesus obliged. Is that the the way that we really want to go? Um, I think he wants us to have a a little bit deeper faith than that. (laughs) Um, But for some people in certain circumstances and certain walks of life, 
for, for the, the situations that certain people are maybe given, God knows that you may need a little extra, a little extra something in your life to show you the proof. And um, he's not going to give you a signed steel stamp seal of approval out in the middle of nowhere. But he is going to enact things in your life to, to, to provoke you in that direction to get the answer you're looking for. So the fastest way to get that answer is to, is to know yourself deeper. And, and the only way to really do that is to build a stronger communication with God. And he will work with you and show you in your life what's happening right now. Open your eyes a little bit deeper to where he really is and to show you that his words are true. So, do you believe God's words written right here in the Bible? Do you believe these words? But at the same time, what about the words that he's putting on your heart? Do you believe the calling on your heart, those words inside? I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve today, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day, and enjoy searching your heart for those answers.